Welcome. This is session number five. In this session, we are going to learn about the glass board and the spotlight board. There are two ways of starting the glass board and the spotlight board. One is through the start menu, all programs, easy teach, next generation, and then you can click on either glass board or spotlight board. The second method is from within easy teach. Click on Easy Teach menu, click on View Modes, and then you can go to the Glass Mode or the Spotlight Mode. The Spotlight Mode, when clicked, does two things. It opens up a Spotlight based on the default settings in the Spotlight Mode, and then it opens up a Glass Mode toolbar. The Glass Mode toolbar has several icons. We have the spotlight tool icon, enable or disable an annotation layer. When that is enabled, you have two additional icons, the annotation tool where we have four choices of pen colors and two highlighters, a delete tool which will delete all annotation. Again, the delete tool will re will delete all annotation. We have a capture tool which can capture the entire screen or part of the screen. Going back to the spotlight mode, we have two choices of spotlight, either a square shaped or a circle shape. We can control the size of the spotlight and we can also control the opacity of the background. The spotlight has two zones. You have a light zone and a dark zone. To move the spotlight, you can be anywhere in the dark zone, and then you just click and drag to move the spotlight to the area of your choice. Once you come in the light zone, or once you bring the cursor in the light zone, now you can interact with the application. And this could be Easy Teach, it could be Google Apps, it could be any application. To close the spotlight, you click on the No Spotlight tool and that will close the spotlight. There are two ways of starting the glass mode. Easy Teach menu, click on View Mode, and then click on Glass Mode. We can also go to Start, click on All Programs, Easy Teach Next Generation, and then Glass Mode. When we Enable the glass mode toolbar, it appears on both sides. They are identical and you can choose any side you like to activate the available tools. We have the spotlight mode, the enable or disable annotation layer. Once that is enabled, we have two additional choices. A annotation toolbar that gives us four pen choices with different colors, black, red, green, blue, with a thickness of six. So that's a thickness of six and two highlighters with a thickness of 48. Once you disable the annotation layer, the annotation disappear. The annotation can be used on top of any application. If I enable my annotation layer, again, the previous annotations will appear. To clear all annotation, I click on the trash can, it will clear all annotation. For example, if I'm doing provinces of Canada, and if there are seven provinces, and I made an error at the end, there's no way for me to erase just that part of my annotation. All you can do is clear all annotation. So be very careful with the annotation in this mode. To disable the annotation layer, you click on the Enable Disable icon again, and the annotation layer goes away. To capture an image or any part of your screen from another application, you can either do part of the screen or an entire screen. If I capture the whole screen, it will put it straight into Easy Teach. If Easy Teach is not open, it will go on the clipboard, and then you can paste it. So that's the entire screen. To capture part of the screen, you choose the icon uh, that says select an area of the screen to capture. 
let's say we're doing United States and I just capture part of US. Again, it goes straight into Easy Teach. It's a quick way of bringing images into Easy Teach. To close this glass mode toolbar, you click on X and it will close the glass mode toolbar. That's all for this session. Thank you very much.